you know, growing up in Senegal, we, I was born a Muslim. And depending on what part of Senegal you was coming from, you know, music was considered, you know, you know, Ara. And it's always been a debate in Islam with music, you know. Um, but me, ultimately, I never really looked at the physical aspect of music itself. I always looked at the intention of the music. Because even when you look at our daily prayers in Islam, when you sing, you know, we pray in melody. So it's impossible for music to be, you know, haram. We pray in, 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 in melody. You know, when you hear your local prayer for any part of the day, it's in melody. So no one can sit here and tell me that music is up. But ultimately, that's my personal, you know, that's me. Okay. Not speaking for everyone else, but that's my personal point of view. And it's a wide uh, review when it comes to that. But I mean, any imam that you ask, they're all going to give you a different answer. Some are going to say it's okay. Some are going to say it's not okay. So it's almost like you just have to follow your heart. And ultimately, if you decide to do music, just do the right thing by it, you know, because music allows, you know, opportunities that normal people don't get. And I know when you look at the natural book and you look at the, the any, any, you know, biblical book, you can read those lines and it's, that's why we are given free will. No matter what and how you translate it, it can be translated to be good or translated to be evil. And that's every line in the Quran, every line in the Bible, every line in the Torah. It doesn't matter. It's all about how it's translated to you and how it's brought up and so on and so forth. Because even when you look at the problems that's happening today, you have what's considered to be good Muslims and what's considered to be bad Muslims. But at the end of the day, we're not here to judge. No one knows what allows or puts people in positions to make decisions they make and why they're making them. So I would never be in a position where I would judge any man and I don't expect them to judge me as well, but I think no matter what decision you decide to make, just do right by it. Because at the end of the day, Allah's watching. You can't hide, you can't move. It's nothing that you can do that's in the light that won't eventually come out in the dark. So I just look at it like just do the right thing. And then at the end of the day, you know, God knows your heart. So I think you'll be fine. Just do the right thing. Yeah.